the pain that a lot of people feel in this country, when uh, some people were, when they nicknamed the president T-Pain, did the president know about that? Not at all. He didn't know. Up to now, the no, president is not me. aware. The, the realities of what is going on in the country, how much of that, because when citizens now start tagging their president and nickname are synonymous to pain, how does the presidency feel about it? You said the president is not aware about that social media. The president is aware that the citizens are going through some difficulties. But is he aware that some citizens on, on social media well, are calling him T-Pain? The president does not read what is in the social media. For yeah, you that to manage said, media for him, he said he are not you telling him, not, did you give him reason. Feedback? I've seen people using that. Some people have also responded and they, and they called the president a different name. Uh, so as far as they are concerned, it's a non-issue. Some people just out of mischief saying somebody is a T-Pain. It's not T-Pain. The president has never shied away from telling Nigerians that he feels their pain and is working very hard to make sure that he gives them some relief so that things will get better. This country will enjoy more prosperity. If you check what he has been doing, things are pointing to that direction. And the programs and the, that he has been implementing we are beginning to see positive signs that things are getting better. Things were really bad when it in came. In what areas, uh, Mr. Onoga? In, in many, because, in several areas. Yeah, you... Because, I mean, uh, I mean as, as a journalist, you perhaps will understand that when you are saying some of these things, you need to put figures and facts to, 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 to buttress what, what you're saying. Is it a point that Nigeria has now dramatically moved in almost every indices of the economy? In the negative. That's a spokesperson to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bayo Onanuga, telling the whole world that our President Bola Ahmed Tinibu is not concerned about what is happening on the social media space. Bola Ahmed Tinibu, do not read all your rant on social media. If Bola Ahmed Tinibu does not read what is happening on social media, it simply means that he doesn't care about what Nigerians are complaining on social media about. It means that to him, Nigerians are simply ranting and wasting their time on social media. Are Nigerians really wasting their time on social media? I think so, yes, according to the president. But it's quite unfortunate that we have this kind of president that do not take his citizen serious because social media is a very great tool. Social media has become part of everyday human life. Social media is fast taking over the place of traditional media like the television, the radio, the newspaper. Most people depend on social media for their news. Even most of the traditional uh, media depend on social media for their news. That's the reason why most government all over the world, they make use of social media. The US election is fast approaching. Go on social media, it's changing the narrative about the US election. A lot of information and misinformations are being spread on social media, especially X. The both opponents in that election, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, they both use social media to communicate their ideas, to speak to their supporters. Even here in Nigeria, social media is very, very important. Peter Robi candidacy pick up on social media. Everything that was being done was being organized on social media until it spilled over to the offline, to the grassroots. When the obedient movement started, a lot of persons wrote them off. I can remember Adam Soshomole saying that there are just four persons tweeting in a room. I could also remember Aerofy tweeting that Peter Obi is not going to get 200 persons when they wanted to do the obedient movement in Kaduna State. But those four persons tweeting in a room crystallized to become one of the biggest political movement in Africa. The obedience movement is a force to reckon with in Nigeria. Look at what they did during the last election. So for anyone to tell you that their president do not take social media serious, it shows how unserious that government is. Most things that happen in this country are being exposed on social media. If not because of social media, so many things would have gone wrong in this country. Social media has been used to correct a lot of ills in our society. Social media has helped the police to apprehend criminals in our society. Social media has helped us to expose bad government officials in our society. Social media has helped us to communicate good dividends of democracy in our society. A lot of Nigerians has been helped on social media. 
If not for social media, life would have been more terrible and difficult for Nigerians. So to tell me that your president, Bonami Tinubu, do not listen and take what is happening on social media very serious, it shows how unserious they are. And that really shows why we are where we are today. For instance, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Robi, has used social media to communicate to the president, Bola Tinibu, what and what he needs to do. When he wanted to build the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway, Mr. Peter Robi advised him, don't build that Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Use that money to reconstruct and maintain our existing road. Mr. Peter Robi went as far as listing all the bad road we have in the geopolitical zones in this country. If Bola Ahmed Tinibu truly, truly listened to what is happening on social media, he would have taken that advice and he would have done so. That would have boosted our economy. Tell me the benefit of that Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway so far. You don't build a long time project when you need immediate fix. What Nigeria currently needs now is an immediate fix to our problem. But Bola Ahmed Tinibu decided to use 15 trillion naira to pursue a white elephant project. When he was increasing the interest rate, Peter Robi told him, interest rate is going to stifle production. Interest rate will kill the economy and it will kill the growth of this country. Many months after Mr. Peter Robi advised the president and the CBN against the increase of the interest rate and custom rate, Dangote, one of the biggest manufacturers we have in this country, came up and lamented against the huge interest rate in this country. He told the vice president there that Tinibu's government interest rate is killing production. But just like Bayo Ananaga is saying, the president do not listen. The president do not read your complaint. The president do not care about Nigerians. And of course, he doesn't care. That is the reason, despite the August 1st protest against fuel subsidy remover, we are buying fuel for 1,200 naira now because the president do not care about the feelings of Nigerians. And of course, Nigerians in their more usual comical manner, they've nicknamed the president T-Pain. This is an indirect way of telling the president that you are synonymous with pain. You have caused us so much pain. You have reduced our purchasing power. You have made life terrible and unbearable for us. If the president has any auto of feelings and sympathy towards the plight of suffering Nigerians, he would have relaxed most of those harsh economic policies he has unleashed on Nigerians. For instance, there is no reason why custom is charging so much on imported goods. I keep saying it, the reason why the cost of imported goods are very expensive in this country is not because of the price of dollars, it's because of the high interest rate in custom. Not only is the high interest rate in custom affecting the price of imported goods, it is equally stiffening production in this country because most manufacturers in this country, they depend on imported materials to carry out their production in this country. That is the reason why you see the economy is going down the drain. If the president actually listened, there will be no reason why Nigerians should be buying for a 1002. There is no reason why Nigerians should be buying gas at an exorbitant prices. The president would have gone after those that are stealing our oil. Crude oil is our major source of revenue in this country, but we are not meeting the production quota because of oil theft. The people responsible for this oil theft are the politicians. The politicians are the ones that have access to this oil. These oil pipelines are being supervised and secured by security operative and non-state actors. So it is practically impossible for an ordinary man to go and steal oil. It is even more harder for a ship to bet on our water to convert stolen crude oil out of this country without clearance, without authorization from those in government. Bola Metinibu has the executive power to stop the oil theft going on in our country. And once this oil theft is stopped, production will increase and our revenue will increase. There will be no need to remove fuel subsidy that the people are enjoying from government. Nigerians are suffering because of the criminality in government. Nigerians are suffering because Bola Metinibu has failed to stop the criminality in government. And on daily basis, they go on social media, especially X, to complain about the ineptitude in government. 
not only do they complain, they also proffer solution to the many problems that is besieging this country. But for the fact that the president do not read anything that is happening on social media, it makes it impossible for him to change. That is the reason why Bola Metinibu keep making the same mistake over and over again. That is the reason why there is no headway to any of his policies. And all of his ministers that somehow have access to social media, they don't take these things to the president. They don't tell the president about the complaint of the people. Whenever they meet the president, it's all about psycho fancy. They sing his praises to high heaven. On your mandate, we shall stand. Bola Ahmed Tinibu, you are doing the best for Nigerians. Whereas those on the street are not feeling the best from what the president is doing. The president keep telling Nigerians, there is light at the end of the tunnel. You need to pass through this rough path. We are going to fix the economy. We are fixing the economy. That is the reason why he comes around and tell you that they have attracted billions of dollars worth foreign investment into this country, whereas there is nothing to show for it. He does not care. He doesn't listen to your complaint. He doesn't listen to your cry. Nigerians, why will you end up with someone that do not care about you? Look at Mr. Peter Ruby for instance. He listened to Nigerians. Mr. Peter Obi is active on social media, he engaged the citizens via Twitter space, he posts on this social media platform himself, he reacts to comments, even when he conveyed a birthday wishes to Yakubu Gowan, he was criticized for that. Mr. Peter Obi turned around and explained the reason why he wished Yakubu Gowan a happy birthday. This is someone that cares for the people. This is someone that feels the plight of the people. This is someone that is close to the people. If he gets there, he won't abandon the people. He will not leave the people. Bola Metinibu from time immemorial has shown that he is not someone that cares about the people. I mean, someone that did not even hold a single debate to convey his message, to defend his manifesto. Therefore, I'm not surprised that he does not read social media. He has said it. I do not care about what is happening in social media. So all of you complaining, insulting, cursing the president on social media, be rest assured. You are wasting your time. Nothing will be done and nothing is being done about all your complaint you've been complaining on social media. The reason is you have the wrong man running the affairs of this country. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.